You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Peppa. Peppa and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! <coughs> oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. Okay. Ooh. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bong, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, boo. Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs>